Hello, my name is Dark Wolf Up. Welcome back to another video and something a little different. I decided I'm going to do my top 10 videos or movies, sorry, I should say. So, uh, this is going to be a different video. I haven't been around much because I'm busy and now it's hot. Well, apart from today when it's nice and cool. Uh, but enough of that. Let's get into it. So, at number 10, American Werewolf in London. Um, straight from the 80s. Uh, one of the best werewolf movies there is out. One of the classics of all time. Um, of course, there are others, but more modern ones, uh, like Ginch Snap, stuff like that. But this, for me, is definitely a classic. And uh, that's why it's at number 10. Well, I say it's at number 10. Some of these movies aren't exactly in order, apart from the second and first one. Because uh, these are just top 10s, not in any particular order, I should say. So, American Werewolf in London. And uh, next, at number 9... We have, well, I was clicking anything, the classic Disney Robin Hood. Um, it's a great animation, great story, classic Disney. What's not to love about it, to be honest? And yes, I do love Prince of Thieves as well. I think that's a very good Robin Hood movie as well. Number eight, Pokemon the movie, of course. Growing up, I was, what, 14, 13, 14 when this came out? Back in the 90s, 25 odd years ago. Yeah, I'm feeling old now. Uh, one of the first sort of movies I went to on my own sort of thing with my friends at the time. Uh, still have the uh, DVD release with the cinema ticket still in it. Yeah, I know, sad. And I collected all the cards which came out with this. Um, but it was one of those experiences. Pokemon was a big thing in my childhood. And, of course, having a movie of it, the TV show was fantastic. Uh, got to see the movie. And then they showed off new Pokemon from the next generation, which was gold and silver. And it was just like, wow, it just blew your mind at the time. And I was like, oh, oh well, excellent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, next up at number seven, Princess Mononoke. Uh, this is Studio Ghibli. If you've never watched Studio Ghibli, I suggest going to watch any of their movies, basically, because they're all fantastic. But this one's my favorite. It's about humans coming in and destroying the environment and then the environment fighting back. No, I'll get sick and then fights back. Lovely animation. All drawn well. Like I say, if, you, if you've never seen any of these movies, go ahead and go and watch one of them. Uh, Grave of the Fireflies. Uh, Ponyo's all right. Um, oh, Howl's Moving Castle, of course. Um, My Neighbor Totoro. Or Totoro. Uh, however you pronounce it, uh, any of the movies, just go and watch them. They're all fantastic. In at number six, The Ring. Uh, the Japanese version, of course, uh, the original. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I say spooky and scary, it, um, which is supposed to be, but when you're older, it doesn't really hit you as hard. But this is one of my favorite horrors of all time. In fact, it's basically the only true horror on my list uh and i'll come to why it's the only true horror there is a sort of another horror later on but <clears throat> not as scary as this uh go and watch this uh and go and watch the sequel and the prequel to it as well uh all very good movies and very different from the american version uh in at number five water ship down another classic animation uh, as you can see i've got a few animations on here I appreciate the hand-drawn style of this one. I've read the book and everything. Uh, this is just a classic, of course, um, with the music as well. Uh, Bright Eyes and all that. Um, again, if you haven't watched this one, I recommend going to watch it. Um, I have the TV series on DVD, uh, but I've never watched the CGI remake. Uh, I was just like, mm, a third one? Mm -hmm. And then I heard it wasn't that great anyway. But. Number four, Battle Royale, the classic. Send a bunch of school kids uh, onto an island and have them all murdered. Uh, yep, this came out before that uh, Hunger Games stuff, uh, which in my opinion is way less better than a Battle Royale. If you want to see the original, go and watch this. Uh, it's a fantastic movie. And of course, I'm going to say that because this is my top 10. So I'd hope all the movies on here would be my favorites. Uh, but I recommend go and watch it. Uh, coming in at number three is Aliens. And this is where I've said horror because 
Well, this is a horror of sorts. It's more action horror. Um, well, I do appreciate the first one. I prefer the action in this one, uh, which is why this goes on my list. I like Ripley as a character. I think she is badass. Um, and there's just a load of guns. Hicks going in there and everybody else and having a great old time destroying the aliens. Uh, the ass-blooded freaks. Acid, acid-blooded freaks. I think I got away with that. Hmm. Anyway, number two. One of the greatest trilogies of all time. Can you guess what it is? No, not Star Wars. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Of course, uh, it came out in the early 2000s. Uh, what can I say? Everybody knows what Lord of the Rings is. Uh, an epic adventure where one little man goes on a journey to destroy a precious. Yeah. If you haven't, still haven't watched it, go and watch it. Um, now, I include all three in here rather than one because I think you cannot just watch one alone. You have to watch all three. And if you can, watch them back to back. That's it. Number one, Jurassic Park. Yep, dinosaurs, uh, great adventure. Love the books. Um, some people think that it went downhill uh, sort of after this. I didn't like the ending to the second one. But I thought that went a bit too far. He said, I thought it went a bit too far. It's dinosaurs, for heaven's sakes. Um, but then it came to Jurassic World. I enjoyed that. Uh, in fact, I enjoyed all the Jurassic Worlds, uh, including Dominion. Uh, I know some people are going to hate me for that, but Alan Grant came back and I was just like, oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it's like, uh, hooray. It's like nostalgia. This is one of the first movies I ever went to see uh, back in the 90s. And I thoroughly enjoy it and I still do today. Uh, just waiting for the 30th anniversary edition to be delivered next week uh, on 4K. That's, uh, there you are, of course. I have some of the toys behind me. I have Transformers. Uh, I've played all the games pretty much, including that terrible PC one, which I can't think of put off the top of my head. But yeah, and that's it. Uh, those have been my top 10 movies. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This was just a nice, easy video. Uh, <laughs> I'm just being lazy. I've got a load of Diablo 4 to get back to and uh, Final Fantasy 16 now. But anyway, uh, enough ranting on. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.